In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at some of the audio applications that come with Ubuntu Linux. Ubuntu Linux comes with a, a nice selection of audio applications to really get one uh, started and up and going with uh, using audio files and, and making audio files and the like. There are many more available for free, available through the Ubuntu repositories and servers uh, through the Synaptic Package Manager located in the system menu. But uh, the ones provided by default do provide a good starting point. Going to Applications and uh, down to Sound and Video uh, shows the main applications that are included for audio uh, multimedia. The first one is the Rhythmbox Music Player. Now the Rhythmbox Music Player is a nice jukebox type of application, sort of similar to iTunes, if you will, but it's an application that is intended to, well, as it says on this opening dialog box, let you do everything. Play your music files, listen to internet radio, import music from CDs, and much more. When Rhythmbox is first run, this dialog box will open up and will take you through a little wizard intended to help you uh, find your music library. And as you can see here that uh, this, this next uh, dialog box asks you to browse uh, to a location on the system where your music might be held. So for example, if there was a folder in Joe's home folder in this example entitled Music, where all of Joe's music was, you could simply uh, select that folder and click Open. In this case, I don't have that type of folder, but or one can, of course, manually enter that path here by typing in using the Linux convention of home uh, slash Joe slash, let's say, it's called music. Or one can simply uh, select to skip this step entirely and go forward, which is what we will do here. And uh, that is really the only step. Clicking apply will then start Rhythmbox. Now, Rhythmbox has a um, sort of a three-pane, a sort of standard three-pane interface, and uh, one can grab this line here and, and move this over to get a better view of what's in the left-hand column. But in this left-hand column, there are different options. Uh, play cue, which is basically if one has, has selected certain individual tracks to play, almost like creating a playlist. Going here and clicking play will begin that uh, the playing of that playlist. Library is um, is a way to view all of the artists and albums, and down here in the bottom, the tracks of those artists and albums of all the music that that one has in in the library. Uh, radio allows one to set. Uh, these are the default radio stations, online radio stations, internet radio stations. One can can add more here very easily click this box new internet radio station and uh, podcasts uh, one can subscribe to a podcast by entering in the podcast feed right in by using this box one can update the feeds and then download uh, individual episodes and, and whatnot of various podcasts underneath it are you know recently added uh, recently played and top rated if one wants to assign ratings to the various audio files and there's a lot of other options in here allowing one to to you know scan for your removable media such as mp3 devices there's lots of different plugins and preferences that are available uh, on how things uh, it's saying that that there's no podcast there's no file found but there's lots of different ways to view different different options you can you can select on on what's displayed in the user interface and there's just a, it's fairly self-explanatory if one um, closes out uh, Rhythmbox the application does shut down but one can also set it to run minimized in the taskbar you can see that once Rhythmbox is running there's an icon up here and clicking this icon hides the Rhythmbox user interface clicking it again brings it back but if there was a song playing uh, this little tag, this little uh, pop-up tag would display the name of the song and the artist and that kind of thing. And right-clicking on this little icon allows you to click play or, you know, if, if music was in the queue, you can go to the next file, the, the previous file, show the music player, show notifications, and then, of course, quit the Rhythmbox music player entirely. So that is the Rhythmbox music player. Two other audio applications that come with Ubuntu Linux. The first is the Serpentine Audio CD Creator. And this, if one has a recording drive, in this particular computer there's not, but if one has a, a CD rewritable drive or a DVD rewritable drive, then Serpentine is a very easy way to add 
uh, MP3 files or WAV files or any kind of files and create a little audio CD. It's very easy. You would simply click Add uh, to add music to the playlist. There's uh, very, very little, you know, that needs to be configured here. Once the um, playlist was set, this, of course, will show you how much space is left until the disk is completely full. You can change the type of disk capacity right here. But once it's full or once you, once the uh, user is ready to go, you can simply click here, write to disk, and it will create that uh, that audio CD automatically. Very handy. Very, very nice little tool. Very simple tool that does one thing but does it very well. Uh, next uh, is the Sound Juicer CD Extractor. This is a CD ripping program. If one has a, um, an, a legally purchased uh, audio CD and one wants to back that up and make MP3s of that or AUG files, which is an open source codec, one can use this Sound Juicer application to do that. Once the CD is inserted, this particular application will go online and access the internet using various online databases to get the information about the title, the artist, the genre, and the names of the tracks and all of that and uh, simply selecting the tracks and clicking Extract down here will rip those files and back them up into the location that one has designated. So again, a very simple application that just does one thing but does it very well. So those are uh, the main multimedia applications that come with Ubuntu Linux by default. Again, there are many others available for free download, but uh, that will be the subject of another tutorial. But uh, for now, that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.